So we're going to take a look at the cat muscles today, uh, starting with muscles of the back. One of the larger muscles of the back is the latissimus dorsi. And every time we're looking at the cat, we want to be thinking about where the natural lines of separation are. And so when you take a look at the cat right here, you can see that I've got sort of a white line of separation. And you can hopefully see that the muscle grain in this portion runs up and down in this direction. But when you look down here, the muscle grain changes its direction a little bit. So we're going to start by inserting the probe gen gently underneath that. And that fascia is that white um, fibrous material. Some of my students think it looks kind of like cotton candy, um, is what we're going to move aside to separate that muscle. So right now, my probe is underneath the latissimus dorsi. I can actually use my fingers to assist in this uh, separation of that fascia from the underlying layers. Occasionally, you're going to find some of that fascia is very, very thick or it has nerves running through it. So very small snips with the tip of your scissors um, can also help. Always make sure to keep the tip of your scissors pointed up and out of the body. You don't want to push it in this way and cut away from yourself because uh, you're not going to be able to see if you're cutting into something you shouldn't be cutting into. So when you have that separated, we can also move down sort of from the front along that line very gently. And now we have that latissimus dorsi separated out. And you're going to want to do that on both sides. These are sort of the big, strong back muscles. Uh, the next three muscles are the trapezius muscles in the cat. And the first one is the spinotrapezius. It runs in the same muscle direction as the latissimus dorsi. And so again, we're going to look for a very thin line of separation. Um, this muscle is a thin layered muscle that lays right on top of latissimus dorsi. So we don't want to dig too deeply because we'll cut through the latissimus dorsi as well. Um, anytime you pick up some fascia and you can see the probe through it, you know you're safe to pull through. If I were to go under this muscle and pull through, notice how I can't see the metallic look of the probes. I know that I'm under muscle there. So again, looking for those kind of white lines, you can see me sort of separating and stretching out the muscles over that body until I can find that single white line. And just getting it underneath a little bit. Fascia on this cat is fairly thick. And so now you can see that I am just underneath that muscle. So I'm above the latissimus dorsi yet, but just below the spinotrapezius. And so once we find that opening, again, we can get underneath that muscle fairly decently. And so now I'm just going to separate that line out. The spinotrapezius has a triangular shape to it. And separate some of that fascia out from underneath. And it runs in this direction right here. So we're looking from this point, sort of where the back, where that white line comes up and almost points, the spinal trapezius starts right from there and sort of makes a triangle just up under the shoulder blade. So I can feel the scapulas right underneath here. So that right there is the spinal trapezius. And I'm going to work now at getting it separated just a little bit farther up so we can see its shape a little bit better. Okay, so so far I have a latissimus dorsi and you can see that if I go all the way under latissimus dorsi, um, I can poke my fingers up a little bit. I'm under latissimus dorsi but I still have that little pocket muscle on top, which is the spinal trapezius. Um, you're going to see the same thing on the other side. There's the spinal trapezius, and there's latissimus dorsi on the other side. So get those four muscles dissected out. The next two muscles on the back are the acromiotrapezius and the clavotrapezius. These are slightly easier dissections. The acromiotrapezius, you can see we've already made sort of a cut or an incision right into the back between the scapula. And we've just used that to separate the muscle off the surface of the scapula. This little sheet of muscle is the acromiotrapezius. So our landmark is the middle of the shoulder blades, and it's that thin layer of muscle on either side. There is no further dissection needed for that one. And finally, we have the clavotrapezius. 
clavotrapezius originates back up here in the neck and it actually goes around and down and connects to the clavicle, hence the name clavotrapezius. Again, we don't have to do any dissection. This is a muscle that we just have to look at and know by sight. And so you have these four muscles, latissimus dorsi, spinal trapezius, acromiotrapezius, and clavotrapezius.